Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Technology Mafia. If you've ever seen this error message on your computer, you may be wondering what in the world is causing it. Well, I had the unfortunate event of experiencing this error firsthand with my Alienware Alpha. And today I received replacement RAM modules from Crucial Ballistics, or from Crucial, these are the Crucial Ballistics. So what I'm going to show you is just how to troubleshoot your memory if you are seeing blue screens of death. All right, so in order to do this, you will need a program called Memtest 86 Plus. Now to download it, you could just go to uh, your web browser and just Google Memtest 86 and it'll come up the very first link. Click on download now. The one that you want to select is down here. Let's see if I can, right here where it says image uh, for creating bootable USB drive. That's the one we are going to use. So click on that, it'll download. I already have it downloaded, so that doesn't matter. Then, once you are done with that, you want to unzip it. I use WinZip and you can unzip it to your desktop and here is the program right there. So next step is you want to take your USB drive. So I'm using a little USB thumb drive right there. I'm going to plug this into the Alienware. Done, recognized and open up this USB installer program. Click on agree. Select it from the list. I know that it is E uh, is the drive that I'm installing it on and it creates it's, gives you a warning that the contents on the USB drive will be deleted obviously so click create and That is it. It takes just a second like that. So hit next and you are done now the next step is you want to uh, shut down your computer so I'm gonna shut it down here. So start it back up and we're gonna hit F2 to enter into the BIOS. Okay, there we are. Now this is your BIOS settings on an Alienware and you could use the errors to move around. There's a ton of information here, but what we wanna do is go up to the boot tab, the very top. See it's the third one over, so and just click the arrow to the right and then for boot mode you're going to select uh, using the enter key we're going to select legacy and boot option number one is already populated USB storage device which is what we want because we want to boot the system from the USB drive so now we want to hit F10 to save and restart so F10 and done now what is going to happen is your computer will shut off and it will restart by booting into the USB drive. And the USB drive is the memory test. And this is what the memory test looks like. And you don't have to touch anything here. The test will run on its own. And you could leave this test on overnight if you'd like. Uh, it will do several passes. So in order to do one or two passes, you really only have to leave it on for probably a few hours. Um, and then if you see any errors, they will, they will pop up on the bottom portion of the screen. So you'll see them in red. And what I suggest doing is testing one RAM module at a time. So plugging in the first RAM module, doing the test, plugging, then taking it out, then plugging in a second module, doing the test, and taking it out as well. I found that with both modules, I was getting a bunch of errors down here almost instantly. I mean, I would run the test and it would be at 8% and I had 100 errors listed down here. And then when I took one out and plugged one back in, it ran, I ran the test again, didn't have any errors, so I knew the other stick was probably bad. So I tested the last stick and it was the faulty one. So that is it for the memory test. Now, in order to get back to your normal startup, you can cancel it here by hitting escape and then just go into, um, it'll restart your computer. You wanna hit F2 again, and go back into the BIOS, and then back into boot, change it back to UEFI, 
and hit F10, and you have booted back into the normal Windows system, and you could take that USB stick out. So that is it on this procedure. Pretty easy, pretty straightforward. So that is it for the video. Now it's important to note that you may see other blue screens of death. The memory management blue screen of death is not the only one that could come up if there is an issue with your RAM modules. In fact, I experienced several different blue screens relating to other issues that, and it, to me it almost looked like something else was wrong. So you could see a hard drive failure, NTFS file corruption, there's a list of other things that you could be seeing um, that look like other parts of your computer are messed up when in fact it's just the bad RAM that's causing read and write issues with your hard drive and your operating system is just getting confused because of the RAM issues. So um, use this tool and hopefully you're able to track down what the bad stick is. Uh, thank you for watching, like this video, and stay tuned for future videos. I got a couple lined up. Thanks, bye.